going to find the equations of two planes given the equation of the line of intersection between them. So <clears throat> I have already worked this and I want you to see what this looks like when we're all finished. So here is the vector that starts at the point 310 and has this direction. But any vector that's a multiple of this one has the same direction and will be parallel. So I completed this line by graphing the vector in the other direction. So this is the line of intersection. Now, the solution I came up with has that green thing as one of the planes and this pink thing as another. And if you will look, their intersection is that dark red line, which is given by um, the equation in the problem. So let's go back and solve the problem. Now, um, we have to sort of think about this working backwards. So remember that our first plane has a normal vector, we'll call it N1, and it's at A1, E1, and C1. And our second plane has a normal vector, which is at A2, B2, and C2. Now, we know that if we do the cross product of these two normals, we should end up with the direction vector of the line that's their intersection. So this should equal 0, negative 2, negative 6. And we know that both of them contain the point 3, 1, 0. So this one contains the point 3, 1, 0, and this one contains the point 3, 1, 0. So if I write the equation for the first plane, it's going to be a1 times x minus 3 plus b1 times y minus 1 plus c1 times z minus 0. And that equals 0. And that simplifies to a1 times x plus b1 times y plus c1 times z. And then we'll put all the constants on the other side. Um, this minus 3a1 becomes plus 3a1 over here. And this minus b1 becomes plus b1 over here. Now, we could do the same here for our second plane, but we're just going to put a2, b2, c2, and we're going to get the exact same thing only with twos. So this will be a2, x plus b2, y plus c2, z equals 3a2 plus b2. Now, if I were to do this cross product, I would have six unknowns, but only three equations. So I'm going to use mathematicians' favorite little operator called let. So I'm going to let a1 have a value. And I'm going to let it be 2. And it would be just as easy. I'm going to let a2 have a value. And let's let it be mm, 5. Now, let's do this cross product. We have i. We have j. We have k, and we have, this is going to be 2, 
B1, C1, and this is going to be 5, B2, C2. Okay, so I'm going to put it up here. So associated with I, we're going to have B1, C2. minus B1, C1. No, that's a 2. So it's going to be B1, C2 minus B2, C1. And then um, we're going to have minus J times, do these, this is 2, C2. Let's see, J is crossed off 2C2 minus 5C1. And then we're going to have plus K times 2B2 K is gone, so this is 2B2 minus 5B1. Now remember, this has to correspond to this, right? This is our direction vector of the intersecting line. So what that means is that I can take, let's move my little minus or the six over. Um, that means that this term associated with the x direction, b1, c2, minus b2, c1, that's going to equal this x, which is 0. So it turns out that b1, c2 is equal to b2, c1, just solving this. Then, remember there's a minus here, so minus 2c2 minus 5c1. That's associated with y, so that has to equal negative 2. And you'll notice that this negative cancels this negative, and it turns out that we're solving 2C2 minus 5C1 equals 2. This one then has to equal the Z component, which is negative 6. And so I'm going to put these in linear equation, system of equations fashion. So this is 2B2 minus 5b1, and that has to equal negative 6. Now, the trick here is to be able to simplify this with two equations and four unknowns. So what I'm going to do is I am going to multiply. Right here I want b1, c2, so I'm going to multiply this top one by B1 and B2, C1. I'm going to multiply the bottom one, the whole thing, by C1. So what that gives me, um, I'm going to type because it'll be easier. Maybe not. So what that gives me is 2 b1, c2, minus 5, b1, c1, and that equals 2, b1. And on the bottom, I have 2, b2, c1, but notice right here that b2, c1 equals b1, c2. So I'm going to replace this with B1, C2, because that will make my life easier. Okay, so that's times C1. So then this is minus 5, B1, C1, and that equals minus 6, C1. Now, we know how the process of elimination works. If I would just multiply this whole thing by negative 1, I could cancel everything on this side. And so I'm going to end up with um, 2B1C2 minus 
B1, B1, C1. And that equals 2B1. But this is going to become minus 2B1, C2. And this is going to become plus 5B1, C1. And this is going to equal positive 6C1. And then when I add vertically, these all cancel. And I end up with that 0 equals 2B1 plus 6C1. So then I subtract 6C1. I'm going to come over, over here. So I have space. And that's going to equal 2B1. And then I divide both sides by 2. And what I find out is that B1 is, divide by 2, negative 3 times C1. And now I can come up with this. So my first normal vector is A1, which I let be 2. And if I choose C1 to be, say, 3, then B1 is going to be negative 9. And there's my first normal vector. Now, you can imagine, since these equations are exactly the same, that I can come up with my second normal vector. I let A be 5. And now, whatever I choose for C2, I'm going to choose 1. That makes B2 negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. And there are my two normal vectors. And now I just have to write the equations of the line. So I can just replace these. This is going to be, here's a 1. This is going to be 2x. This is going to be minus 9y plus C1 is 3z, and that's going to equal 3 times 2 is 6, minus 9 is minus 3. This is going to be minus 3. And that is the first um, plane that we graphed. Then, if n2, this is going to be 5x, b2 is minus 3y, and then this is going to be plus 1z. And that equals, mm, let's see, 3 times 5 is 15 minus 3. That's going to equal 12. And these are the two planes that we graphed in the beginning. Now, let me type them to make it clearer. Um, the final answer The first plane is 2x minus 9y plus 3z equals negative 3. And the second plane is 5x minus 3y plus 1z equals 12. Now, I'm sure there are many more right answers depending on what you chose for a1 and a2. But these two planes are the ones that I showed you the graph of in the beginning. And so these would be my answers based on my a1 that I chose and my a2. Thank you.